see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Arizona State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Fires out quickly to the tailback. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Tackle made the 37-yard line. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. Easy, easy, three. And they hit him in the backfield. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier, very frustrating as a play caller, makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play, that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. He goes out of bounds, right around the 40. That's a game of seven. Ready? I got one, I got one, I got one! Easy, easy! Flare! Flare! Go! He gets rid of this one. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do. Come on the field. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 17. Mike 40, Mike 40. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Easy, easy, easy. Tackled for a loss. Nice five yards up That makes it good. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Fourth down. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 47. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Go four! Kill, kill, kill! Go to three! And down he goes at about the 49. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. down at the 41 yard line what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch quick throw out to the receiver incomplete boy he put so much heat on that ball i don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that fourth down 
They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Arizona State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up. And he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Got it to the senior. They'll bring him down at the 37. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 45. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Gets out to around the 25. Side after a nice pickup. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Inside the ten, and they make the stop at the three. and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Touchdown, Iowa! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Very important for this offense to get on track early in this game because if they find their rhythm early, it's very, very difficult for the defense to slow them down. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 7-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hawkeyes are smothering the opposition for today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Check, check, check. Answer, Dan. 26, check 26. There's a strike complete, and he hits him hard at the 30 yard line. Yardage. 
and he's taken down at the 39-yard line. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. That's going to do it for the first quarter, and we got a good one so far. The Hawkeyes lead it by four. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Red two. Yellow three. Kill, kill, kill. Slant. Yellow three. <laughs> And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it first and ten. ten. And he's tackled around the 22 yard line. Game 16 yards. First down. Watch one. Watch one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Check, go, 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 check. Go. Game 15. Check nine. Check nine. Here go. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22 yard line. Side. He's tackled to the 19 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Iowa is up one. Caught and up for the first down. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a team of four on that play. That makes it seven and six. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. From the 49 yard line, second down. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three.
third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Zips it to the tight end, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 41. Iowa with a one-point lead. Knocked out of bounds around the 40-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That brings up second and nine. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Here we go. Row three, 19. Row three, 19. Short over the middle. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. A short yardage defense here. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog, big dog. it out to about the 23. From the 23 yard line. First down. Fires it out. Inside the 10. Big play and it's first and goal. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! And he converts the extra point. A 12-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on their own 21. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 39. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Hawkeyes in front by eight. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I love this first half. 
two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Iowa is up by eight. Black five, black five. He goes out of bounds around the 27 yard line. Gain of two on the way. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Mike two, Mike two. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. made at the 44 yard line from their own 44 yard line first down and he's hit before he can go anywhere Second and seven. Ball on their own 48. He tackles him for a loss. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Back's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 44. That's good for a game of From the 44 yard line, it's first down. Iowa up by eight. Here's a running play. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make a second and seven. And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick strike to the receivers. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Fourth down. Iowa is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. The 
kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick out to his receiver, and down he goes to the 26-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 31 yard line. Number four, Got the corner. He might have a chance. That's a game of 10 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Two. Six, check 26. Yellow three. Brought down. That's the 47. That's good. Now we got two yards. First down. Go for it. And he's level at the 42 yard line. Number ball, 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 ball. on the tackle at the 42 yard line. That, that makes, makes it second, second and six. six. Red two. Kill, kill. Red seven. Red two. two. Six, check 26. Here go. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they push him out to the 37 yard line. Third down. down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's immediately tackled. Number 21 brings him down with the 29 yard line. First down. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Down quickly. That's a deep one. That'll bring up third and six. Easy keys at X7. Move 20. Fires quickly and he's got his man. That's good for a game of the game. That makes it first and ten. Dog kill kill. kill. Green Panther nine. Six, check 26. And he's taken down around the five-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Gets to about the five-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Hawkeyes in front by 11. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Two-yard line. Game on three yards. That makes us third and goal. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! Check nine, check nine! Touchdown, ASU! They'll go for two in this situation. Here we go, here we go. 
He's got it for two. Arizona State lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Iowa is up by three. It's a bad play overall by the offense. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Got hit and still completed it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Three down, three down. Mike two, Mike two. Decent run here, right side. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Going deep, lays it out there. Can't make the grab. Number 23 was the intended receiver on the way. From their own 35 yard line, it's second down. Choose the mic. Ready! 319! Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled around the 44 yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Ready! 59 Philly! 59 Philly! Makes it out to about the 33. Iowa is up a field goal. Almost intercepted. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's at the 20. He's tackled at the 13. the 13-yard line. First down.
he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And he hits him hard at the 36-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Gets his running back, and it's knocked out. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Quick throw. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you are a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. Green eye, green. To the end zone, intercepted. That's a great tackle at the five-yard line. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air. They come away with a dagger of an interception. From their own five-yard line, it's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Sun Devils will use their first time out of the half. Takes it up middle for a nice run. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. And he's tackled in the open field. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and 10, ball on the 27. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Game of three on the way. That'll make it second and second. Covering that fumble. Yeah, because a play like that gets the defense right back into the game. You'll probably see him get real conservative now. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They run it for the first, and he stops. The Sun Devils, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.